Let's watch a preview from A Child Betrayed, the Calvin Meyer story from the series Life Stories, Families in Crisis. <laughs> Calvin. You know about Father Rudy? What about him? Do you know? Yeah, so? So I think that maybe you should just shut up about it, okay? Look, Calvin, you're only making things worse. If you knew we were talking about it, if anyone knew we were talking about it. Yeah, but Calvin, he's a priest. He can do what he wants. Let's go. You're going to be late. What's the matter? I don't feel well. You don't feel hot. Is your throat sore? It's not one of those type. Is it your stomach? Did you get sick? You know the rule. Just because I didn't throw up, that doesn't mean that I'm not sick. Calvin, what's the matter? Nothing. Did you do something that you're not telling me? No. Well, something's bothering you. I don't want to go to church. I don't want to. You don't want to what? Serve mass? Yeah. Yeah. Morning mass is hard, I know. Getting up at 5.30 is really tough. It's talk. not that. Are you afraid? Yes. I'm not doing well? It's Father Rooney. Oh, honey. You don't need to be afraid of Father Rooney. He's kind and good. And if you do something wrong, he'll help you. You're a lucky boy, honey. We are so proud of you up there for the whole world to see doing something important. You now, when I was a little girl, I'd have given my eye teeth to have been a boy and be able to do what you're doing for the church. It was my dream. Now you're fortunate enough to be able to live that dream. God's made that possible. You can't let him down. Or us, any of us. Especially Father. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. My last confession was eight days Kelly, ago. Kelly, what are you doing here? I swore once when my little brother ate the rest of the ice cream that was meant for me. I didn't obey my mother. Calvin, this is not the way you're supposed to take confession. You're an altar boy. What are you doing? I know. Father, if you go to confession and take communion and you haven't confessed everything, is that a sin? Is last week bothering you? You think... That what we did last week is wrong? Something that you have to confess? Yes. I already know about it, so it's nothing that has to be confessed or forgiven. Sin is something that happens out in the world, not here, not between us. But, Father, I don't like it. Calvin. Who is God's representative on earth? The Pope. And who works for the Pope? Priests and nuns. And do you think it is ever right to disbelieve a priest? I don't know. It's not? Do you know why? Because it's like disbelieving God, isn't it? I want you to say a special act of contrition for doubting Father and two Hail Marys for the rest. And Calvin, next time, I want to hear your confession face to face. God has chosen you to be an altar boy. You don't want to disappoint him, do you? God, the Father of mercies, through the death and resurrection of his son, 
has reconciled the world to himself and sent the Holy Spirit among us for the forgiveness of sins. Through his ministry, may God give you pardon and peace in the world from sin. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. All right, Calvin. I'll take care of this. Do you know what time it is? Yes, I know what time it is. That is a tone that won't be used around here now or ever. Lunch is at noon. Go wash your hands and come back to the table. And I did not hear you say you're sorry. For what? For being late and using that tone. Well, maybe it doesn't have to be at church all the time and all has to be so late. Mass is over at 11. There's no reason you can't get yourself home here by noon. I know what you're doing at church. Shut up, Mom. You're going to the right for your father that I'm like. Father, I said shut you up. Get out of the church. Get out of the church. Stop there right now. Go to your room. Do you hear me? Go to your room right now. Go.
be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. I've tried to be an instrument of your good, Father. But I find I'm becoming less and less that. More serving myself than serving you who deserve all my love. I know I've sinned. And you know. You know. now that I'm asking for your forgiveness because though I want to be forgiven mostly I want not to be tempted because I I don't have the strength to resist bring me back father bring me back heavenly father open your arms and receive May God pardon me and absolve me from all my sins. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. I didn't mean to listen. I, I was uh, beginning to wonder if you were going to show up. I haven't served Mass without attendance for quite some time, and I'm not sure I want to start again now. Calvin, what's wrong? Is something the matter? I don't want to be an altar boy anymore. Can you tell me why? I just don't. Calvin, let me ask you something. You know how Jesus forgave even those who put him on the cross, don't you? Can't you find room in your heart for forgiveness? Is that what God wants? I think it is, Calvin. I think that is what God wants very much. And God needs us both. He needs me to, to serve his people, and he needs you to help me. And if, if you continue to serve, I won't. I won't ask anything more of you. Will you think about that? I hope this won't change your mind about camp this weekend. You've been a great help to me, Calvin. I'd, I'd like you to come. I don't know. All the boys always have a great time. Yeah, Billy was talking to me about it. And I'm teaching him how to shoot. He doesn't have a gun, so he uses mine. And Kenny always has a great time at camp. Yeah, I know he told me. What part? Did he tell you what part he likes best? The video games. You have video games at camp. That's his favorite part. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think you can come? Sure, yeah. My mom lets me. Well, I'll talk to her. You'll need a physical, you know. Well, I'm going to the doctor tomorrow because of my arm. What? What happened to your arm? jumped from a tree and hit a branch coming down. Oh, I'm sorry. That, which which arm was it? This one here? Where, where is it? Oh. Looks like that hurt. <laughs> Did it hurt? It doesn't have to be a doctor who gives you the physical. You know, I, I could do it. My mom already set it up. 
Don't you trust me, Calvin? I would never hurt you, son. You understand that, don't you? Yeah. So. Come on. Come on. I'm here to help you. I will never hurt you, Calvin. I'll never. My name is Calvin Muir. The story you just saw is my story. I was 15 years old when the priest who sexually abused me was finally stopped. Like a lot of children who are abused by adults, I trusted him. He was someone I was taught to respect and obey. Part of me knew what he was doing was wrong, but another part of me couldn't believe someone like that could ever do something so bad. The priest who abused me abused a lot of boys. For a long time, none of us talked about it. None of us ever told each other what was happening, so the abuse continued. If an adult tries to abuse you, tries to touch you in a way that you think is wrong, it is wrong. No matter if it's a parent, a teacher, a minister, a counselor, or a scout leader, no matter who they are, it's wrong. If something like this happens to you, tell someone, tell your parents, tell a friend, tell the police, and tell them everything. Don't be embarrassed. You have nothing to hide. You haven't done anything wrong. They have. And don't be afraid. Nobody is so important that they have the right to abuse you. Don't let anyone do to you what this priest did to me. Thank you for listening.